Hey everyone, I realized my mountain bike um, is one year old, so uh, let's have a look at it. This is my Canyon Lux 8.0. And uh, I'll start off with a couple of changes I've made. I'm sure I'm going to get a bit of slack for it, but uh, I have removed the dropper seat post. And that's because I ride marathons and uh, I have never found a spot in a marathon where I have to use a dropper seat post and this saves me lots of weight. Um, sure, it's not really the thing to do, <laughs> I guess, for certain people, but for me that saves a lot of weight and climbing is my strong point, so I'd rather climb well, the descending goes pretty well like i said i found i've never found a spot where i have to I need a dropper seat post i'm not racing cross country and i'm not going to take any risks seeing my profession as chiropractor this does it great for me so i'm very happy about that don't know how happy the mountain bike fans and fanatics are um, the front stem i've changed to an fsa it is uh a negative uh, I think 17 degrees um, I really need to get rid of this section here I think it's horrible I just haven't made the move yet so but I intend to do that um, for the rest the front shock absolutely perfect no problem the wheels are the DT Swiss XR1501 29 of course and uh, I'm really happy with them because uh, of course I'd like carbon wheels but I've broken two pairs of carbon wheels before so I thought we're not going to do that Maxxis tires icons and uh, after a year the front tire is still really perfect and the rear tire absolutely not bad I used to use Schwalbe uh, racing Ralphs but these are for me as good I don't really notice much difference and these last longer so that's pretty simple um, XO1 derailleur absolutely fantastic I haven't done any adjustments to the gears um, I've changed nothing it works perfectly one year later the chain is still the same chain it works absolutely uh, great love that sound the rear shock I've had no problems with it's absolutely great <laughs> so one thing I'd like to change still is uh, put an X01 cassette on in, that will save me 100 grams but this cassette um, I think it's the XG cassette I'm not sure really works well um, it's a bit heavier so I want to save about 100 grams by putting an X01 cassette on there but the derailleur and the cassette I've had no problems whatsoever and uh, I'm happy about that. I have XTR pedals, brilliant, no problem. Um, I still have the original saddle, which is great. Haven't changed that. Uh, the water bottle cage cages are uh, sideways XLCs. I'm not sure where I found them again. I can't remember, but. Uh, uh, I'm really happy with them. I do find that some of the bigger water bottles tend to touch the frame over here. So I don't know if that is a big problem or not. That's the only negative thing I can say about the bike at the moment. That is for the rest, I've got no problems with it. It's after a year, absolutely fantastic. I've changed the grips my way, not always fantastic, but uh, to easy grips and I have a grip shift which really saves me because my thumb changing the gears really took a lot of slack on the in the right hand because I do most of my work with the right hand and uh, the grip shift has really saved me from that I'm very happy I used to have a grip shift on my uh, Gary Fisher back in the 97s and uh, that was rubbish and this is absolutely fantastic no problems with it it works great so uh, I'm very happy with it 
the brake levers level level SRAM no problems fantastic um, really happy with them easy grips um, I have tubeless tires and I have the setup over here these are my plugs and on the other side I have my uh, tools to make the holes round and to uh, get the plugs in so uh, love this um, I haven't used it much but when, when I needed it it worked like a charm that's for sure there we go I can't remember who makes them or where I got them from I think I bought them from a, a friend in Holland uh, and uh, they work really well and uh, with a tuber setup that's a great and easy way to do it um, for the rest the crank absolutely perfect no problem like I said I've got no problems with this bike it's a year old and uh, it's going like a charm it's absolutely fantastic um, oh yeah yeah the carbon I've got a carbon handlebar I changed it it wasn't another medium handlebar it's now a carbon just from Canyon I used to have it on my previous bike and uh, so I wanted the carbon handlebar again that also saved me a bit of weight and uh, I think I have more control over the bike I'm running a Garmin 130 on this um, I'm no I have no power meter on my bike I'm on my mountain bike I do have it on my road bike I think that's something I might think of in the future, but in, during a race, and I don't really have the time to look at my power meter and stuff like that. It all gets a bit complicated um, and busy during races, I find. So, absolutely no problem. It's brilliant. I've had no problems with the brakes. Um, they are brilliant, working well. I have replaced the brake pads in the back. In the, about four months ago, I changed, re re replaced the brake pads in the back. And uh, for the rest, I've done nothing to this bike. It's I haven't even touched or adjusted the cable settings of the rear derailleur. It's been absolutely perfect and. Uh, it's nothing negative I can say about it, uh, except that the bigger, heavier water bottle seemed to touch the frame over there, so I put a little something down there to protect it. And those are only the heavy water bottles, the larger ones. It's, but it can also just be the water bottle, the, the cage, water cage. So uh, that's about it. Um, I've had no problems with the levers of the the shock they were great um, front brakes brilliant uh, tubeless setup absolutely fantastic I went to an open day to uh, test bikes before I bought this well I've had well I had two canyons before so I might have been a bit biased but I just love the Lux and uh, but it just rode so much better than other bikes I tested and uh, I think it's fantastic so uh, there you go, that's my Canyon Lux, one year old. I've had no problems with it um, whatsoever. That's all I can say, good job.